M1A. What a sweet rifle. I was a little concerned about it though. You know, those big uh, 7.62 by 51 rounds, 308, better known to some of you. It wouldn't go through those soft drink cans. Sure did though, didn't it? Went right through that aluminum. What a thing of beauty. Big old M1A, M14 magazine. And I just happen to have another one right here handy in this tree. Yeah, right here, okay. Also has some secret mag pouches I'll tell you about. So this is the M1A, uh, known as the M14 and the uh, Select Fire version. That uh, is a military firearm, of course, of the United States military. Still in use, the M14, in uh, various uh, areas. I believe the SEAL teams still carry carry these things. Uh, uh, I think maybe one one fellow in, uh, in each squad. I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. But I know they, they, uh, they uh, make use of them. Uh, the, the Navy uh, makes pretty extensive use of them, as I understand, uh, on board ships and things. So it's still in use, and uh, this was the replacement for the M1 Garand. Basically, this is an M1 Garand upgrade. Okay? You know, Patton may have been correct when he said that the M1 Garand was the greatest battle implement ever devised by man, something to that effect. Uh, well. At the time he was right, this one uh, is the improved M1 Garand, if you will. That may be uh, talking sacrilege for, for some of you, uh, especially if we have any World War II vets looking in. Unfortunately, most of uh, our World War II vets have uh, passed on and uh, who have carried the Garand. And uh, I think a lot of people trained with it, though, who are younger than our World War II vets. But this gun, if, uh, if the Grand you have fired, the Grand you've owned, you carried, maybe in battle, you've not carried the M14 or fired the M14, M1A, in my opinion, and I, I've owned both for a pretty good while, th this is a better gun. Sorry, my opinion, by far, I, I, I like this one over the Grand. You can't match the history and the feel of the Grand. I mean, it's a great gun. But in the uh, military, the mil-spec ammunition, what was shot in the M1 Grand, and the uh, the 7.62 by 51, 308, you know, essentially ammo that is fired in the M1A. Ballistically, it's it's almost identical. Okay, now you can take a 30 out six round that the M1 Grand fired, and you can load it up hotter, but you're not supposed to shoot that in the Grand. So as far as the uh, the military uh, configuration and application, there's just really no difference uh, to speak of in the the ammo. Okay, so you got the same cartridge essentially, same ballistics. And the improvement is what I think, and I think most people do, is in the gas system. Uh, the only problem I've ever had with Garands, I've had a couple of them, was in the gas system, and uh, the, having to tweak that and and you know fix it. You know, I wasn't even sure what was wrong with the first one I had. I had all kinds of problems with it in terms of getting the, the gas to seal and for it to operate reliably at times. And the one I have now does pretty well. And then of course the the different feeding system. You know, with the Grand, you've got the eight round uh, clips that you use. Uh, and with the M1A, the M14, you have 20 and 25, I think even 30 round magazines that are detachable. You pop in and you're reloaded. So you can top off magazines. You can, uh, you know, you're down to three, four rounds. You can put in another magazine. It's just a lot, lot more convenient than the M1 Grand system. All right. 
and essentially the same cartridge as I said. And they're both the M1, they're both the same rifle. So I don't want to get into a big war between the M1 Grand and the M1A. Uh, it is the M1, basically the same sighting system and operating system, just a really good feeling rifle and a hard hitting rifle, really hard hitting rifle. And this one is a off the shelf M1A. Uh, I've had it maybe 10, 15 years. Got it back during the, the big crime bill period, which I won't go into. And it doesn't have the bayonet lug on it. So that makes it a much safer rifle, you know. Uh, if you've been around a while, you know what I'm talking about. All that craziness back in the early 90s and mid 90s with the crime bill, quote unquote. But other than that, it's, uh, it's pretty authentic. This is a M14 stock, actually, uh, a military surplus stock. It's got the cutout there. I believe that was for the selector switch on the M14 that the M1A doesn't have because it's semi-automatic. This is a semi-automatic version of the M14, basically. Springfield Armory, if I didn't say that. Uh, really sweet rifle. Again, it's off the shelf. It's a stock grade. It's not match grade. It has a nice trigger. I have to be careful with it because it'll, it'll, it'll go off before I mean for it to. Not in a dangerous way, but you know, when I'm, uh, I think I'm almost on target, and I was like, bam, I have to really watch it because it's not like the AK or some of my other rifles that have a little bit harder trigger. Uh, we're just plinking over there at 900 yards and just some playing around here at close to. This gun, of course, would reach out five, 600 yards. Uh, has really nice sights and uh, just, just a splendid rifle. Uh, this is a highly desirable and desired rifle. You see you talk about it on the, on the internet forums, the gun forums. Uh, the M1A is uh, it's pretty pricey. It's gotten very pricey. Uh, but boy, they are sweet to shoot and a really powerful rifle. Unless I go up to the 4570 or something, this is, this is about as powerful as anything I have. Okay, so let's just put some more of these big rounds in it. And this is 762 by 51 mil spec ammo. Put my ears on. We'll take a few more shots. Getting heavy. I think that one went about a foot lower than I meant for it to. All right, let's take out, uh, well, let's take a couple more over there. I think we've got a little little round target over there. I can't really tell. I can't really see it. I'm going to take a couple of shots at it. Well, I'm not really sure what I'm shooting at, actually. I, I think uh, I need to look through the... <laughs> through the camera so I can see it. Uh, we have a little really bitty uh, round thick target we set up I think over there. I may take another shot out. I don't want to waste too much of this expensive 308 or 762 by 51 ammunition. The ammo has gotten really expensive for this thing. So let's take a few more shots here. Enjoy this, uh, this baby. I know what let's do. 
let's uh whoa somebody set up a couple of cinder blocks there i bet that was john and uh must want me to shoot them so let's back up just a little bit make sure we're safely away Make short work of that, doesn't it? We'll go back over there a little bit. <laughs> ah, sweet. This is a nice rifle. I tell you what, it is. This feels so good. Even though it packs a pretty good wallop, it really is fun to shoot. So we're going to wrap up with this. Uh, Another one of these water jugs we have, these, these ancient 20-year-old uh, five-gallon jugs, and let him know that there's an M1 in the area. How's that? Well, I was going to try to put several rounds in him pretty quickly, but he got up so high, I didn't want to just start slinging rounds through the trees. Uh, that might not have been wise. Uh, that was a more dramatic uh, bounce than I expected. One thing you have to, you have to keep your, your wits about you when you're, you're doing things like this. We don't always know what the reaction is going to be on something. And, uh, you know, the tendency could be, to, oh, there he is up in the air. Let me shoot him with a 308 going right through the... Uh, you know the fields over there maybe into somebody's farmhouse so you have to know what you're doing where you're always you know shooting what the what the background is where where the rounds are going when you hit the target or miss the target exactly so that uh that was fun it doesn't get any better than the m1 uh, in any configuration whether it's the grand you know or the uh the m1a the m14 i have a little too much ballast oil and oil in it you know and that's why i get some of the the it's not it's really steam it's smoke i guess coming out of there at times uh, sometimes i may over lubricate on my my all metal arms and uh, i don't do that on my polymer wonders but uh, i don't worry about a little extra lube in there we get a little uh little smoke coming out it's not because it's uh getting too too hot it is hot but uh, no damage of course so this is a uh, this is about as good as it gets as i said great sighting system this gun has a wonderful trigger and uh it's 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 easy to shoot well uh pretty well as at least as uh, well as you can see and as steady as you can hold as there with everything it's as accurate more accurate than i am again I, I i've got a little disc over there i think i i can just barely see it and since i'm using iron sights even if i'm uh, holding rock steady I, I can't quite uh get a bead on it really where i need to i need also to blacken my front sight I, i've got it white i painted my front sight white on this gun uh, for some shooting I was doing in the summer over here on the other range and it seemed to help a lot but uh, over here it, it, it kind of whites out and I, I almost lose it uh, but uh, that's the only excuse I can come up with today sorry so great gun uh, I don't have any other lies to tell you about it other than if you've ever shot one of these you know exactly what I'm talking about and if you own one I'm sure it's one of your uh, your favorite rifles and one of your most prized uh, possessions or firearms heavy uh good old steel old-fashioned type rifle heavy to carry i'm sure uh, people that carry these in the grands uh in battle or in training they know about the weight even more than i do so but it is a good heft that feels good on the range a nice heavy rifle firing a really really big round so uh hope you enjoyed seeing that i also have another magazine of ammo we're not going to fire anymore but uh Beautiful gun, beautiful gun, and, and lots of fun to shoot. So I'm glad you guys have come by the range today and helped me uh, fire some, some rounds through this thing. So life is really good.